danger. Do not try performing this video at home. Microwave electric shock can be deadly. Let us see what microwave voltage is capable of. Inside the microwave we can see a 2 kV transformer, a voltage fuse, a high voltage capacitor, a tie load, a magnetron, a control circuit and a power supply filter. I will use the transformer's voltage by connecting one wire directly and the other one from the case. Two testers are connected to the secondary winding. This tester shows voltage intensity and this one current intensity. Let me pass the current through Steno. Foil paper, a spring wire, let me add some salt. Current intensity in the arc is half an ampere, while voltage is raising instead of stepping down. A 300 volt light bulb of 200 volts. Plasma median. The arc is burning the terminals up. The glass is fusing. What a giant light bulb! The reaction has started. We have got a gas light bulb. A twig. We need to cut the grass like this. Do you see what is happening? I hope you can see well how I'm doing it. Now let us focus efforts on the ground. Nothing happens when it's applied to a stump because it's isolated. It doesn't conduct electricity well. As I have already shown, it just glitters a little inside the stump. But still, there is something interesting. Bar conducts electricity very well. Moreover, we can see such an ultra high current. A neon glow lamp. Fluorescent lamps are not exposed to being burnt up, though they shine brightly. A blowable. And finally, capacitors exposed to the voltage of 2000 volts. My ear. Pasha managed to get a working magnetron, that is why in our next videos we are going to carry out experiments with wave energy. Subscribe for our channel, discussions of new ideas are held in our group in VK. Goodbye for the moment.